In this quick video, I'll walk you through how I use the Mesh Fusion Retopple Brush. It's pretty cool, so let's dive in. Starting with the Polystar, first thing we do is hit W to bring up the gizmo and then click on the gear icon. We're going to pick Cylinder 3D. Hover over the red cone and set the H divides to 16. Next up, let's move over to the Tool Palette. Under the Poly Group menu, there's this handy Group by Normals button. Click that and you'll see it gives our cylinder caps their own unique poly group. Okay, now it's time to jump into the geometry menu. Right next to the divide button, there's this little thing called SMT. It stands for Subdivide Smooth Modifier. Make sure this is turned off before we move on. Now let's grab our Mesh Fusion Retopple brush. We're looking for the IMM marked with the number 16 matching our cylinder's H divides. Drag that right over the poly group. And if you need to reposition it while dragging, just hold down the spacebar. Once you're happy with the placement, just let go of the mouse or pen to lock it into place. Then do a quick control drag on the canvas to clear the mask and control drag again to fuse the topology together. Next, grab the Z modeler brush and remove any edge loops we don't need. We're not done yet. Let's repeat the same process again on the other side. Grab the IMM brush, drag it over the poly group, Tweak it a bit with the spacebar and then double control drag on the canvas to merge it all together. A bit more cleaning up with the Z-Baller and maybe add some extra edge loops to even out the poly size. To wrap this part up, let's add a quick crease and hit Control w to make the cylinder a single poly group. And that's pretty much how I use these brushes to alter the topology of my mesh. Let's try another example. We'll start the same way with a poly star. But this time, after bringing up the gizmo and hitting the gear, we'll choose Sphere 3D. Remember to set the H divides to 32. Now mask the front of the sphere and hit Control w to make it another polygroup. For this example, we want to go up to the brush palette and under the Modify menu, slide the projection strength all the way to 100. This lets us project the IMM directly onto the mesh's surface. Just like before, control drag on the canvas to clear the mask, control drag a second time to fuse the topology, and use the z modeler brush to remove any loops you don't want. Here's a cool trick. Roll back the changes on your undo history to before the mesh fusion action. Control click there to save the original model state, then hop back to the end of your history. Slide the relax slider in the deformation palette all the way up. In the Subtool menu under Project, turn on the Geometry button and tweak the Distance slider a bit. Hit Project History to get back to the original volume of the mesh. Now let's bring up the gizmo to check which axis needs a mirror and weld. Press Ctrl W for a single polygroup. And run that Relax slider a few more times for smoother topology. And there you have it, an all quadded sphere ready for sculpting or used in other features like extender to continue the modeling process. Lastly, if you're looking to skip creating quadded primitives and want something tailor-made for specific tasks, like what I showed at the Zebra Summit, try my primitive brush. It's bundled with the Mesh Fusion Retopo brush on the art station. I use these a lot for initial blockouts, placing rivets, or manual retopo with the Z-Modeler brush. They're mostly low poly, all quads, and there's even a variety of rivet heights for different effects. They're awesome when using with Interpolate and Nano Mesh. Hope this helps you out. Check the link in the description for the brushes.